Yeah. What were you doing in your teenage years? Um, a whole lot of things. A whole lot of things because guess what happened now? Even though I, I love the music, like I said, I love King Tubby's sound, and I love you, I profile. That was with him. Before that comes out, I was just a bridge where anything goes. And, and, and this anything goes create problem enough for most ghetto youth in all over the world. You know? Before we get to anything yeah. goes, yeah. did you leave the house or were you still home during your teenage years? No, nah, man. But they're on the road, man, because at the hard times, you know. Yeah. Remember, we have poor people picking, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would drift from one community to another and, and, and we drift through the highland and we, and we, we, we are drifters yeah. and ragamuffins. Yeah. And, 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 and this is how you earn your keep and earn your name. Because there's a certain sif and funnel that you have to funnel through. So what age did you start? What age did you leave the house? From about 15, 16, within them time there. And why did you have a lot of brothers and sisters? Yeah, man, and we're hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I never wanted for those try to earn them keep because the family poor. So when you left your house, yeah. what was the hustling at that time for survival? It, it wasn't, like my tell you, say, some of it is so bitter. It's like, when you speak of it, it's like it is a, a tambourine. You, you know what Jamaican tambourine? Yeah? So you, 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 you have locked jaw. You, 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 you cringe. You, you, you taste bad. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. So it was, if wherever you could find refuge, or wherever you could find a night meal, it had to be found. Or else, it's you. All right. I know you said you passed through Tower Hill. So yes. You were exposed to you. Yeah, yeah. That's exposed to you or like you saw him or you got to reason with him. How was that relationship earlier? I was playing a little song called Roots Unlimited from, from Walton Park Road. How did you start DJing and how did you get to no, that sound? See, 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 see. Burbant and them a DJ from another community. And, 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 and I say, we can talk to people and make them smile, and we can talk to people and make them smile. So the same thing when I use on a daily basis with my good morning and good evening and my common courtesy, me extend it and just step to the sound with the knowledge of Uri and King Tommy's at the back of my head. You understand? So sometimes an entertainer will tell you about his career and because his mother used to sing and he used to sing in the choir. Not like that. It's just a, it's unbelievable and unexplainable. Right, you were Roots Unlimited, right? Yeah. How did the style now? Because now, rude boy lifestyle. But then, it's a chanting vibe, but it's a, it's a culture vibe almost in there, like a social commentary. All right, would I call it radicalism <laughs> within that time? See? Yeah. Because then we just a revolutionist. Yeah. Because within that time, we well, right, even though we, 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 you see, I don't want people to get me wrong here. I'm just thinking about how I think. I'm just trying to explain and express how I was thinking at the time. Because like, we had that Castro was a bad man, and Che Guevara, and, and, and they used to wear him on the t-shirt with him, with him, with him, buried him, Tom. And we used to like that. Revolution is unreal. We don't understand the real fullness of revolution. Because Rasta preached back to Africa and Marcus Gavi. Yeah, and, and yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you feel you got it and you, you're tough and you're rough and you're young and you're strong. So this is why. So even though you're trying to pipe yourself down to get to the music, the music still become a wrestling in terms of because Jamaica changed in 1972, and I get political. So, borderline start draw. Before that now, yeah. right? Before the politics thing. Mm -hmm. Was life on the street like some little cliques, or is this kind of, it wasn't too... Yeah, it just... Little crew type thing? Gangs, gangs, gangs. All yeah. all in, in, in every single part of the world. All right, so gangs there, right? Yeah. 
Politics come in 72. Yes, that's the worst thing ever happened to Jamaican people. that's where people. things change. That's the worst thing ever happened to me. Because the gangs, gangs used to use your discretion. Yeah. Then politics come and pop the thing open so wide that people lost respect for each other. This is the question I don't understand. And, yeah. and, and if you don't want to talk about it, don't yeah. I talked yeah. to a lot of the people that was into the politics. Yeah. People seem very smart, right? Yeah. And I don't understand how they played the game so long. Because initially it's like, I can see how you could get caught up with certain things. But year after year is still going on and people not saying, say, oh, or it just got out of hand. Or weird. That's a very, very important and a serious question. But you're really saying, you know, that I thought so too, you know. And whoever there was within that era, within that time, Say, but you know, I trick them politicians, I trick way. But brainwashing is a heart. And, 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 and the, 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 the veil that came over your eyes, you can't really see the truth. I just get glimpsed the truth. But you cannot accept it because you are so you're naive to some things. And, and, and they're scared of the reality sometimes. Uh, and, 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 and then he said, but, oh, me say, me a labor writer, me a PNP, it, my, my granny was it. And them still living at a lean bed up house. And then he come and enforce it, and it transfer now from the level of just verbal fluid to physical stone and battle, and to a higher level now to firearm. When did the firearms come in? What year was that? I think, as a young man, I think 76 was a real rough, with, with, with the sightings yeah. of the UFOs. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? Yeah. But, in, from, 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 from a mature stage looking at it, 1976, 77, 78, 79 was like because even on the Olympic way, you know, in a towel area, right, it was known as the Gaza Strip, you know. Yeah. And the transformation has been made now. If you should catch a picture of within that year, 76, 77, within that time, you will see trees like about three, four, five feet tall in the middle of the nice, nice Olympic way that them have now. They used to call it the Gaza Strip. From one of the Middle East places. They name it from that. So you must know how dreadful it was. And I have seen it. Most of it, we don't really want to speak about it. Because it, 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 it somehow it blows we got then. Uh, we're not talking about a one-sided thing. You know, We're talking about the, the supporter of the PNP party who is affiliated got burned. The supporter of the Labour Party who is affiliated to the party got burned. Then here come the man who says he's neutral and he's nothing got burned. The he just sent by stand, bystander got burned. The man who live at Clarendon take the bus come at home, come look for him granny. But if I pass one border to go through the other border, don't know the road code, don't know the magic words, don't know what can take you across. All right, so we had crews, I understand that. Politics coming, right? Right. So you just have Jonestown, but Jonestown is Jonestown. Right. How did Jonestown become affiliated with whoever? Because, because over that side was mostly PNP from, say, Tordes Palin and, you know, and, 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 and I'll tell you something from, from my experience that I get. Any Jamaican, whether I live a country, I live a town, whether, whether, whether I visit the highland or what, the disease just come in like, like a fungus and I start eat away the people. They're like, oh, you have cholera. Like, oh, you, you, you see, it? like, don't mention, like Ebola. What were they giving the people? Like that's why I'm, I'm just trying nothing. to figure out was it worth it? That's why I'm trying to figure out we get cars, we get house, we get house, where you get money. Less to nothing. Less to nothing. No, some people 
benefits because these people were they set up these force attack people right those people was people who helped to create the facade yeah. that time get a big car out of PNP or out of labor right so if you join them this can be the end result where you're gonna be victorious in more ways than one and you have nice house and nice things and nice clothes but at the time you were looking at it as a trick you were saying yes let me join this PNP or let me join this labor right because it looked good for the man them before me or five years older than me or ten years older than me so that ship could fall upon me them time wasn't that it was ranks well let me hear you say my auntie.